Gregor Jordan Gregor Jordan was born in 1966 in Zale. His father was an Air Force pilot and as a result, Jordan moved around a lot as his father received different postings. His first film was a short film called Swinger and it won the Tropicana Short Film Festival in Sydney before it went on to win the Jury Prize at the 1995 Keynes Film Festival. It has since been played at the Telluride, New York, Sundance, Edinburgh, Brisbane, Valladolid, Haifa and Tapie Film Festivals. In January 1996, it was screened as part of the Australian collection of short films on ABC television. During 1996, Jordan completed his second short film, Stitched, which was nominated for an Australian Film Institute Award for Best Screenplay Non-Feature. His professional career started at Channel 10 in Sydney as a production trainee before he slowly worked his way up to studio floor manager. He studied film and television at the North Sydney Technical College before working in film and television for several years under the roles of assistant director and standby props to actor. His directing career started with music videos, his most famous being Christine Anu's music video Party. He went to Sundance three times for his films, those films being Swinger, Two Hands, Buffalo Soldiers and The Informers. On his first visit, he was approached by Miramax Film, who gave him a three film contract. Since then, he has directed several films, them being Two Hands in 1999, where he was also the writer, Buffalo Soldiers in 2001, where he also was the writer, Ned Kelly in 2003, These Days, Live in Concert 2004, which was a Powderfinger concert, The Informers in 2009, Sunsets, Powderfinger's Farewell Tour in 2010, Unthinkable in 2010, as well as The Swimmer, which is currently in production. On top of that, he is also directing a crime-related TV series called Old School. Gregor Jordan has a love for filmmaking and always supports new and upcoming talent. He demonstrates this when he created an online editing tool called Smash Cut, which gave filmmakers all over the world the opportunity to become noticed. All his awards include the AFI Award, Best Original Screenplay and Best Achievement in Direction for the movie Two Hands in 1999, the Jury Prize Best Short Film for Swinger in 1995, and 2004, the Evening Standard British Film Award for Best Screenplay, which was for the movie Buffalo Soldiers, and in 2000, Director's Week Award for Two Hands. He has also had a number of other nominations for his other films. Jordan's style is an interesting one. It generally revolves around action, war-related scenes, and law-breaking activities, with a hidden message within. He shows his interest in war when he says, Warfare is something quite innate in humans. War was invented way before diplomacy. Today it is seen as this weird aberration where, which only happens when diplomacy breaks down, and no one really wants war. This, as well as his father being a pilot in the Vietnam War, shows that he has a very great understanding of how war affects people, and therefore institutes it into many of his films. There were very few problems in Gregor Jordan's career, but the biggest was, by far, the postponing of his movie Buffalo Soldiers. Buffalo Soldiers is a film about the American troops and how they behave when they're off American soil. Here's a trailer of Buffalo Soldiers. Three things I love about Germany. My Mercedes Benz, no speed limit on the Autobahn, and a black market for anything I can get my hands on. War is hell, but peace, peace is boring. Whatever you want, I can get it for you. Have you heard anything about those two trucks going missing? What trucks, sir? It's all brand new. You can retire on this. I agree 100%. Everything was perfect until I started dating the sergeant's daughter. You're seriously out with me just to tick off my dad? No, I, uh... He's not someone you want to tick off. Lock and load, take up a good firing position. You ship 400,000 train killers over to some foreign land, you better give them a war otherwise. We squashed the pedo.
The timing for this film was not suitable, and as a result, it was released later in 2001. He said this about film. I think people in the studios underestimate the intelligence of the population. Movies are getting dumber and dumber because studio executives don't think people can cope with serious material. I think there is a great demand for movies that aren't sequels or involve comic books. I think that we've moved on to a new place, a time of reflection, so people can take stock of what's gone on since 9-11 and how to move forward, recognize the mistakes and try to rectify them.